Day 306. Today there was a series of huge explosions on the Russian airfield in the Saratov region that Russian forces used for conducting massive missile strikes on Ukraine. Russian sources reported that the Ukrainians attacked with drones Russian strategic bombers stationed at Engels airfield. Even though they claimed that the Russian air defense system shot down Ukrainian drones, some drones still managed to launch their rockets, and as a result the airfield was reportedly hit by at least two rockets. The rockets highly likely reached their targets, and they also caused two massive explosions, killed three Russian servicemen and wounded four, and started a 120 square meter fire. But this is only the surface of what the Russian military is dealing with. The real implications are much more severe, and here is why. First of all, the Engels airfield is located 624 kilometers from the nearest Ukrainian position. This clearly demonstrates the technical ability of Ukrainian forces to target objects far behind the front line. The drone technology continues to develop, which means that the frequency and intensity of Ukrainian attacks on the Russian deep rear positions will only increase. Secondly, the fact that Ukrainian drones can fly more than half a thousand kilometers through Russian airspace without being shot exposes the weakness of Russian air defense system. It shows that they experience extreme shortages of air defense inside the country, because they're already using everything in eastern and southern Ukraine or close to the border. So once a drone passes through the border, it can basically hit whatever it wants. Thirdly, reaching so far behind the front line should be bad enough news for the Russians. But it is not the end of it, because the Ukrainians hit not just some military object. They hit a military object of strategic importance, because Engels airfield is used by the carriers of nuclear weapons. It does not mean that the Ukrainians could have targeted nuclear warheads, because they are not just lying on the airfield, but it does mean that the Ukrainians can and reportedly have damaged or destroyed aircraft that is used to launch them or other rockets. What is more, they did it for the second time in a row, because exactly three weeks ago, on the 5th of December, the Ukrainians reportedly conducted the same attack on this airfield. If you still remember, last time the Ukrainians reportedly struck this airfield two hours before the planned Russian massive missile strike. So the Russians seem to have cancelled the launch of rockets from this airfield. This shows that the Russians did not learn from their mistakes and did not improve the defense of their strategic object well enough. Right now Ukrainian military representatives are warning that the Russians might try to conduct one last massive missile strike on Ukraine before the new year, in order to create a semblance of progress in the so-called special operation. It would obviously anger the radical and most vocal part of the populace if the Ukrainians could go out and celebrate New Year as if there is no war. So in order to manage public discontent, it would be logical to shut down Ukrainian energy at the end of December. This leads us to the conclusion that the Ukrainian forces might be taking preventative actions and trying to decrease the probability of a coordinated massive missile strike. An uncoordinated missile strike works in Ukrainian favor because the Ukrainian air defense system is not overloaded and can shoot down more rockets. And if this is indeed the case, then it seems like this plan is working. The latest news suggests that the Russians are relocating 6 295 MS deep into Russia. As of yesterday, the Russians had 3 to 160 aircraft and 12 to 95 MS aircraft at the Engels airfield. After relocation, there should be a maximum of 3 to 160s and 6 to 95 MS. But the number of carriers that are ready to be used can be much lower, as some rockets manage to hit their targets. Last time, this strike did damage a number of carriers, so it is entirely possible that the Russians just evacuated what was left. Overall, we can say with a high degree of accuracy that in the short term, the Russian strategic airfield in Engels has been successfully demilitarized and we can expect no missile strike coming from this particular Russian base in the near future. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I'm doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show your support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.